Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's a girl from Romano. For those of you who don't know me, and for those of you who are returning, welcome back and thank you for returning. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe down below and click the bell button right next to it just so you know whenever I upload something new. <music> tell by the title of this video i'll be doing a highly requested video on my youtube channel a lot of you have been asking me to show you guys all my bags basically my bag collection so yeah i'm just going to show you all the bags that i basically have a lot of you have seen it from my styling videos so that is what i'm going to be doing today and i'll tell you a little story about them even if i don't tell you a story but i will tell you a little bit more about them like where i got them how much they were, if I still remember, if it was a gift, if I bought it myself, what pushed me to buy it, where I bought it, and yeah, I'm just gonna give you the tea about all my bags. I have them down here, so you might see me reaching down here um, in the video. I'll try and cut that out when editing, but then you might see me. So yeah, I'll try and cut it out as much as I can, and I'll try to shut up whenever I'm reaching for another bag. So yeah, stay tuned and watch until the end. Do it. Um, I'm gonna grab the first one. Um, these are not in any particular order. I'm just gonna show you my bags. I think I'll keep the designer ones for last, so that you guys can stay a bit longer. And also, I've noticed that um, 70% of you guys who are watching are not subscribed, and I feel like it is so rude. It's so rude in a sense that. Like I put so much effort into these videos, into making these videos for you guys to just watch without subscribing. I'm not saying you guys owe me anything. I'm talking to those who are not subscribed. But what I'm trying to say is at least if I'm going to put in so much work for you guys to get content, please just subscribe. It does not hurt. Just your subscription will do the most. So yeah, please do subscribe. And the 70% of you guys who are watching and not subscribing i'm going to give you a moment just to subscribe while i decide which bag i'm going to show you guys first so i'm going to give you that moment and then we're going to get into it so you guys do the right thing it's not going to hurt it's not going to cost you a cent. just do the right thing A few moments later. Okay, let us get into it. Um, the first bag is this bag over here. It is a nice red. Yes, that's the true red. And then it's got some zips here, some rounded zips. Guys, don't mind my nails. I don't have them done. They're a mess, but it's okay. So this is basically how this bag looks. I think you might have seen it in my videos before. I like it so much because of the shape. It is a nice round shape. It's not too big. I was never into huge bags. Like, I was just never that girl. I always loved my small mini bags. So yeah, this bag, um, I like that it is nice and round. And it makes a statement in any outfit that I wear. I like it so much. And inside, it's got this... Um, black and white pattern i don't know if you can see it but that is how it looks this bag i got from fushini a while back i think last year um i initially saw it from sinobu boy on instagram and i asked her where she bought it and she was kind enough to tell me that she got it from fushini when i went to fushini i couldn't find it but then i shopped it online and luckily i found the last one there was this color i think there was a yellow and there was a, a yellowish mustard and there was a think green so i prefer to take this one i like it so much this bag was not more than 500 rand i don't remember the exact amount but that's how much it was it was less than 500 rand i bought it myself it was not a gift and this bag is so cute like you guys you guys must admit that this bag is super cute i love it so much and yeah so this is the second bag that i've got this is how it looks that is the second bag that I have. It is by Guess. Um, I don't think it's designer. Oh, yeah, it might be designer, but yeah, it's a Guess bag as you can see over there. And it's got that detailing here that I love so much. It does say Guess as well, and it's got a bow on like a nice silver chain. And then on the side, it looks like that. Okay, I don't know if it's focusing, and then it's got those handles, and then the bag has got a zip over here. A very small one where you can keep your coins or your cash and then it's got this it's got sil silver detailing everywhere it's got this um zipper here with a triangle because you know guess has is known for its triangle 
logos or if I should say logos it also has a long belt which I never ooh, which I never use yeah but that's basically the long belt I never use this belt um, so basically that's how this bag is so in here this is how the bag looks I'm so sorry if it's filthy this bag is really old and yeah I haven't taken it to get washed I don't know but for some reason I always keep these things guys in my bags it's it more special to me because I kind of remember how much was spent on this bag and it makes me value it more I can't afford your LVs and stuff as yet I will one day I'm saying it to the universe so yeah I sort of like keep these things and then also it's got another compartment like in the front there so the story behind this bag is my husband bought it for me um a while back at um clear water mall we were passing by the guest shop and it was on display and i just literally went crazy it was love at first sight i loved how the red is so vibrant and bright and like it's just a perfect red and then the silver detailing all around the bag was just what caught my eye it was to die for and i told him that i love that bag and i want to get that bag and he said okay let's go in and then i'll buy it for you luckily it was not that expensive well this is my price range for like designer if i can say designer bag this is my price range i never go above um say 2000 rands or 3000 rands so this bag was 1999 yeah i hope you can see that but yeah so this bag was 2000 rands he bought it for me and yeah i was so happy when he got it for me i love it so much till date and, um also when i bought this bag we were at um guess and i was walking around while he was paying for it and i saw this this purse here that's how it looks it's taking long to focus that's basically how it looks and then i also saw this on the display cabinets and i showed it to him and he said this is nice it would go nice with your bag but at the time i had no money and it was going to be wrong of me to expect him to buy this as well for me because this was about a thousand rands i think so i was or oh, 800 rands somewhere there so i was just like nah i'll get it another time and you know what this guy did I went to work the other day when I got back and I got to the bedroom I found it on the bed I just found a, a white guest box and when I opened it I don't even know if it was mine or he, like his stuff but I just because I just open everything in this house if there's a delivery here I'm gonna open it I don't care who's it's for so most of the time it's my deliveries but I opened it and then I came across this so he bought it for me like I think two weeks later and yeah I was so happy so this is my purse that I'm currently using I don't really use my purse as much at this time because yeah I don't really I just take my card and then I walk out of the house so that is the second one that is it from the second bag i'm gonna go on to the next bag so the next bag is a black bag i'm sure you guys have seen all influences with this bag so it's this bag from zara i like that it's black and gold i never had a plain black um spacious bag where i can put my vlogging camera my phone my lotion and everything so when i got this i thought it was a perfect bag and it's got this gold zipper and then it's got it doesn't have a lot of sections in here in fact it does not have it's just this part in here and it does not have any side pockets but it's very cute guys like you can see it for yourself and then it's also got this long belt if you know me you know i don't use these belts i, I literally don't if i want to feel like a lady and i want to feel like i look good then i hold on to that but i don't wanna i don't use this usually so this bag here it was about how much was it i think 500 rand or less or 600 i don't remember i will try and link everything down below and you can still find this bag at zara i always see it on their website so the story behind this bag is there's a lady called kiamo i'm sure a lot of you know her she's a youtuber and an influencer i saw this on her page and i fell in love she had the blue one first and then she got this black one when she showed us this one i did not waste any time i went online on zara and i bought this bag so this is what this bag looks like and i like it so much it is very cute it goes with literally everything so yeah that's it for that one i'm gonna go on to my next black bag this video might be long but please bear with me so um the next bag is actually this bag here <coughs> 
sorry about that i got this from superbalist i think it was a superbalist brand on superbalist and it came with like um black bells but then i substituted it for this i got this back home it was on one of my old bags that i think that i got from small streets and i just took the belt and i put it on this one and this is the detailing that it has so literally when you open it you just push it there but because it's those cheap bags it's a hassle to open but i'll open it and show you and then it's got that detailing there i like how it's got those gold details and it comes at the back it looks like that and yeah i'm just gonna open it it also does not have a lot of sections it's literally just plain and in here you can't fit i can't fit my camera and stuff i usually just fit my phone and um cards and cash or whatever it's very tiny so this bag here i saw on super list actually there's a lv one that i know of and i've been eyeing it but i can't afford it so when i saw this one on super list i grabbed it the moment i saw it and i added it to my cart and i paid for it this was about 600 rand i don't remember but i think that's how much it was so yeah this is a bag that I bought myself and I love it so much. Um, yeah, it's very cute. It's a box bag and it's a hard case, very durable. And yeah, I like it. Except for this part, it's so difficult to open. You can't, you literally can't just press there and it opens. You have to press and then balance and then pull this out. Yeah, and then it just clips there when you wanna close it. So that's it for this bag i'm gonna go on to the next bag. the next bag that i have this is basically for aesthetics guys like you cannot fit a thing in there the best you can do is just to fit your cards in there it's very tiny it's got this belt here i think you guys might have seen it on a lot of my styling videos and this is what it looks like inside you literally cannot fit anything in there this bag i got from the connect za it's my friend's brand so um, I was just helping her promote it on my Instagram so she gave me I think I bought two bags from her no I bought one and she gave me two extra ones and she had initially said she's gonna send me one but when it got here she had sent me two she was so generous I think it's a hundred and fifty for the bigger one and then this one is a hundred rand I don't know I'm going to insert the prices somewhere here or down below so that you guys don't go and harass her and say that I told you that it's 150 or 100 rands. Meanwhile, it's not. But I know she also sells combos and she's got a lot of nice bags. Just go onto her Instagram and check it out. And she's very fast at delivering. So yeah, check her out. I'll put her handle somewhere here and I'll link her Instagram down below so you guys can go and check her out. And she won't knock you off, guys. If she does, come back to me and tell me that she did. But yeah, she sells quality. These are very good quality and it does not have too much shine to it. So yeah, this is how this bag came about. And I'll show you the other two ones that were also in my videos or pictures on Instagram. I might just link a picture with the other one that I posted on Instagram. So yeah, I really love this bag for the aesthetics. It looks really nice. It's sort of like that accessory that stands out when you have your outfit on, especially if your outfit is plain. This is my go-to. I love it so much. It's very cute. That's it for the black bags. I'm going to go on to my... Let me just go on to the other bags that she sent me. This is the next bag that she sent me. It's inspired by Jaquemus. I don't know if that's how you say it, but um, the original ones are Jaquemus. I know a lot of people buy their bags from AliExpress and it has the Jaquemus brand here. I'm not a big fan on buying replicas of a brand, especially if they've got the name of that brand. I don't do that unless if it does not have a name like this one here so it's this nice i don't know if this is what color is this sage, sage green so it's a nice sage green bag and that's how it looks inside it's got the belt like i told you i never use a belt i've never really used it because lockdown and i've never gone out anyway ever since the lockdown so yeah it looks like this inside it still has this but anyway it looks like this inside it does not have a lot of sections to put in your stuff but you can make this work but it fits my camera it fits my phone it fits my cards and yeah but the smaller version of this does not fit a thing it's just for the aesthetics like i said it looks like the black one but it's this color and it's smaller let me show it to you so this is a smaller version of it like i said it's the smaller version of the black one of the <laughs> sage green one it also comes with the belts, which I never use, guys, because I like how it looks, especially when I hold onto it just like that for pictures. Obviously, this is for pictures. It's 
it's not for usage because it's too tiny to fit anything in there maybe your coins and your cards when you go to your local shop to go buy bread or milk if you want to be extra but yeah okay the first one is this one over here this one guys um you might have seen it a lot on my channel so i'm not gonna explain too much about it and then it's got this crocodile it's not real crocodile skin but yeah then it's got gold detailing on the stuff there I don't know if you can see if it's focused I've never used this bag I never removed the tags and yeah it still looks like that it's got a belt you just remove the stuff inside so you can see it's really very plain guys on the inside that's how it looks on the inside nothing fancy it's just a bag I like it because it's white and I didn't have any plain white bags I had a bag that was see-through and white which I'm gonna show you in the end if you really want to see it you'll stay until the end so that you can just see it so yeah that's about it for this one I'm gonna go on to the next white not white but see-through bag that I have so my next one is this I don't know if I should call it white to see through I've been looking for this everywhere guys so yeah this is the next bag that I'd like to show you guys I got this from Misty Minx Misty Minx on Misty Minx or something like that in Thailand when I went to Thailand in 20 I don't remember two years ago or something 2018 2019 2018 and this is how it looks this is meant to go there but your girl broke it. I don't know how, but it broke. I will try and fix this myself. I don't know. But yeah, this is how it looks. I love this bag. If you've seen my pictures on Instagram from Thailand, I took this bag with me everywhere that I went. Looks like I can see a lash in there. I don't know. Yeah. So it's filthy on the inside. I haven't washed it. I don't know how to go about it. I'm sorry that this is dog and my dog is a smaller dog so it also makes a noise and usually when it hears the other dog barking it also wants to bark. But anyway, he's probably not barking because he's in the house somewhere. This is how it looks on the inside. It's basically like a bucket bag except it's made out of beads and it's also got a long band over there. And yeah, I really like this bag so much, but like this is just, it's breaking my heart. I really love this bag, but now I can't use it because I don't like putting on bags like that. I prefer to hold them with the small nyana handle. So yeah, I love it so much and it also clips over there, but I usually don't clip it. And my phone usually just sticks out of it. So I don't like that about this bag, or rather I don't like that my phone is too big. But anyway, yeah, this is a bag that I got. I think this was about 800 Rand or 900 Rand. The next bag that I have over here is this um, see-through kind of bag. You can't see the belt is in there because, again, your girl, oh, oh, I don't use the belt. I use them sometimes, but not all the time. And it's also filthy. I just need to wipe it off. And it's not really a see-through, see-through. It's like a foggy, foggy, is it foggy? yeah foggy plastic or see-through kind of thing and it's very sturdy and good quality like there's no thread that is out but maybe that's because it's made of plastic no actually there is threads here and there but anyway they're not sticking out it's very nice i got this from superbalist and it's the misguided brand i've had this for three or four years it's old okay three years two years somewhere there and i love it so much it's very cute it goes with literally everything like your red, blue, green, orange, purple, brown, yellow, pink, black, white. This is your bag. This I bought because it goes with ev with everything. And I was going to a wedding and I had to wear pink. I just opted for this and it did match. So I really, 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 really love this bag. I know I haven't been using it in a long time, but I love it. I've had this on my arm the whole time and I've been filming. Oh gosh, I'm so mad at myself, but it's okay. It's nothing big. So yeah. I want to move on to the next one. This is the next bag that I have. It's one of the big ones also that, that I'm over at this point. I hate that now it has bent, but I think it's because of the way I stored it. But yeah, I'll fix it up. This I got from Campus Square. Um, here, uh, 
many many years ago when I started dating my husband when we were still dating so I saw this bag when I was with him at the mall I think I went to Mr. Price to go get some winter stuff and I saw this pink one no I saw the black one and at the time I, was, I did not have a lot of handbags I was a student I didn't have much he also didn't have much he was working but then the money wasn't so good so I saw the black bag at the store and we went in and he asked me if I like it. It was 350 at the time. Still a lot of money for a handbag. Well, especially for me, I couldn't afford it. I couldn't take 350 and buy a handbag when I knew that that could buy me groceries for the month. Okay, not exactly, but it could buy me bread for the whole month, bread and milk for the whole month. So I was not about to take out 350 and buy a bag. So he asked me if I liked it and I said, yeah. And then he's like, oh, okay, take it, this paper. I was like, no, but you don't have to because we're struggling. And he's like, no, take it. I just want to see you happy. And we took it and we paid for it. And then I saw this one. I think the following day I went to Campus Square again to go buy groceries with him. And then we saw this pink one. And I told him I actually like this one more than the other one. I felt like... I felt so bad saying that but I couldn't hold myself like I felt like okay this guy just bought me a bag yesterday and here I am saying I like this one better than that one so what is he expected to do take that one back and get me this one or get me this one while he has got me that one and he doesn't have much you know but like I couldn't hold myself I think I felt like I was I was a bit selfish at the time but anyway he saw this bag and he was like oh I, I don't have money I was like no I'm not saying you should buy it for me I'm just like showing you a bag that I like Two days later, when I got back from work, this bag was on the bed, and then he was like, yeah, I just wanted to see you happy. So, yeah, it's got a pocket on the side, over here, like, it's got nice detail, yeah. and then over here, it's very really dirty, and ooh, I used to go with this bag to school, that's why it's got pencils, USB sticks, and blah, 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 blah. it's got another compartment there. Where you can keep your small and yana things so yeah i still love this bag so much but it's one of the other bags that i feel are big now for me but i do use it guys don't get me wrong like when i go to school i do use this bag and yeah it's really cute i don't know how you guys might feel about it but i think it's really cute and the color oh i'm in love with the color i'm still in love with this bag guys i'm still in love it's not designer or anything but you guys asked to see all my bags and i'm showing you my bags there's no designers here. We are not about that designer life as yet. So <laughs> I'm just showing you the bags that I have because you guys asked for it. Okay, well, some of you don't come at me and say you didn't ask for it. But then if you are here watching, obviously you want to see this video. But anyway, the next bag that I have is this one here. This you might have seen. Okay, it doesn't want to focus. But you might have seen this bag in one of my hauls. And this is how it looks in the front. It's gold and then it's got that gold chain. I think this is what drew me to this bag. I know it's not wow, but I really like it. And then it's got this chain belt with the gold over here. This is from College Spring, if I'm not mistaken. It's a College Spring. Yeah, it's College Spring and I've got receipts in here. But anyway, I bought it on Super Venice. I think it was on sale. On sale, I got it for 400 Rand. And yeah, it's really nice fancy or anything it's got a small pocket there and yeah this is basically just the what do you call these bags that you put on your side like that yeah this is one of them and the reason i got this bag it's not the best i've got a small bag that's similar to this in rose gold the only reason i got this one is because the other one was wearing out and i thought i should have a backup i had been looking for a rose gold bag similar to that one that i had and i wanted to get the exact same one but unfortunately i couldn't so i got this this was the closest to that other bag which i'm going to show you right now so this is the only reason i got this bag i have never used it i don't know if i like it i don't know how i feel about it but it is what it is and this i bought myself on superbalist and i told you why i bought this i bought it on superbalist but it's a college spring brand or zendo i'm not sure but yeah this is the one that i'm talking about this one is a bag that i have been looking for it's wearing out this is my ultimate favorite if you do not know this bag then you're probably not my friend because this is my favorite bag but guys the gold is coming off over there i don't know if you can see it the belt is black and gold like it's losing color everywhere threads are coming out everywhere this bag was from eldo there was a wedding i had to go to then my husband bought this for me he was still my boyfriend at that time and this bag i must say it's good quality because it's years old but then 
yeah it's wearing out on the corners and stuff it's got lots of compartments so i really 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 love this bag i still use it even though it doesn't look that great this is a bag that he also bought for me a while back cute guys this bag hey this bag has got great memories so yeah this bag is by guess I was a guest girl guys i used to love guests and it also comes with a purse which i also got well he got it for me same day but like i don't use this purse as much anymore yeah that's basically the purse and i love this handbag so much i haven't used it in a long time now that i think of it i do use it but not all the time i've never had anywhere to go since i moved here and this is how it looks on the inside as you can see again the belt is inside like i'm always lazy to remove it and just hold on to the bag like that but the bag the belt is inside it's got a lot of compartments as well and that's basically how it looks so he bought this bag for me we saw it at some shop at clear water mall where they sell branded bags i forgot what it's called yeah i forgot what that store is called but it was not at guess but it was just like not too far from guess so he bought it for me and he bought the purse for me and yeah yeah, so this bag brings back a lot of memories. I'm not going to go through all of that. But yeah, I love this bag so much. And it's still my favorite. Well, most of my bags are my favorites. Especially the ones he bought for me. The next bag is this bag over here. This is the next bag. This bag is by Colette. Is that how you said Colette? Heyman. And I like the detailing there. It's got like some brown snake skin. And this bag is like a nudish brown yeah it's a nudish cream white kind of thing and guys the detailing on this bag here yeah. that's the gold detail i love so much and this i also love it's like that on the same on the other side it's got the snake skin and the handles are snake skin and it's got this handle as well i also haven't used this bag as much Guys, there's always receipts in my stuff. What is this? Anywho, this bag over here, guys, I got for my 23rd birthday last year. Yes, from a friend, Bukamo. So I am sure she's going to watch this. And this is actually the best gift I have ever been bought for by a friend. Like, I love this girl so much, guys. Yo. And she knows my style. And she knows my style. And she knows I'm a cereal shopper. And she knows I love bags and stuff. And I did not tell her what to get me or I did not suggest anything, but she decided to get me this. <laughs> I couldn't be happier because she got me exactly something that I would buy. And I feel like, yo, I this girl. Like, no friend of mine has ever bought me. Is it designer? I think it is designer. Yeah, Colette should be designer. But yeah, I love this bag so much. Enough about that. As you can see, it's still fairly clean. It does not have a lot of compartments. It's got a zipper there. And a small pocket there and i really 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 love this bag and yeah i'm gonna start with this one that i don't really like as much i regret buying this bag but it's okay and like i said i keep these things in every bag but like yeah i just keep it this is what the bag looks like and it's got this detailed um lock is it a lock yeah a lock kind of detail and that's what it looks like it's got these things it can expand like it can become really big if you need it to be big and inside it's got lots of compartments again the belt is inside because i prefer to hold my bags like that this is like a yellow and two shades of yellow and white so it's yellow mustard and white i really really wished this bag was just was just this yellow but then too bad i couldn't get that kind of bag but yeah i'm not crazy over this bag um i feel like at the time i bought it because it is michael Kors. this is my ultimate favorite i saw a red one like this i don't know but like both of them look like that on the side it looks like that on the front so it's basically sh um shades of um what is this dusty pink or dusty purple kind of thing and they look alike kind of this is just bigger than the other yellow one and it's also got a lot of compartments in there i really 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 love this bag it's actually my favorite this this bag um looks like my guest bag that i showed you guys earlier and the one that Pokemon also got me like it's got similarity this is a michael other michael Kors bag and this i also bought myself so yeah i think we have come to our last bag so the last bag yo guys this bag is beautiful like yay and this bag you're not gonna see it on everyone 
and guys i did not write the exact names of the michael kors bags and the other bags but i will try and link everything down below or i'll give you the name exact name if you want to go and buy those bags this is the last bag that i want to show you guys i saved the best for last it is filthy and dirty but that's because i haven't wiped it and that's basically how it looks in the belts guys in this bag they've paid attention to a lot of detail it's got this is it snake or crocodile skin whatever it is but you see that detail i love it so much and the reason i said i wanted to buy the white bag that i got from um where did i get it the fix was because i had this one it is white but then it's got it's see-through so sometimes i just want a plain white bag that will go with an outfit that i want to wear and i don't want it to be see-through on some parts i just want it to be solid so i can put all my junk in there because these ones sort of like force you to put stuff that I put together and organized but anyway this bag over here I got for my 23rd birthday 22nd yes I got for my 22nd birthday from my husband obviously <laughs> so yeah it's got this thing I don't know if you can see but it moves around it's like a pocket it's like a pocket over there where you can put your junk if you do have junk like coins and notes and then in here you have to be more organized i like it so much i like the gold detailing there it does not have the name of the brand or anything but like yeah so basically that's this bag and i still love it so much it's my favorite bag i just don't take good care of my bags for some reason i don't wipe them down and all of that but it's okay i'll take them to get professionally cleaned so anyway that's the last bag that i have and this is my ultimate favorite this is my number one out of all my bags yeah i buy my bags anywhere and everywhere guys i'm not fussy at all and those of you who know me know that i'm not fussy when it comes to bags and designer brands and all of that i would like to own a lv bag but too bad i can't afford it as yet but i will get it one day i'm saving up for it i will get it yeah that is it from me and my bag collection one day hopefully i'll do another one where i show you my designer bags one day when i've got designer bags only but for now this will do and yeah so we have come to the end of our video if you've made it this far guys please drop some flowers down below because some of you know how much i love flowers so please drop a flower or a bouquet of flowers an emoji of course just to show me that you've watched until this far and yeah comment down below which of these bags is your favorite or which one you're interested in or you're looking at getting for yourself and yeah just tell me which one you like drop a flower if you don't mind and just like this video and if you haven't subscribed i'm disappointed because i did ask you to subscribe in the beginning but it's okay please just subscribe it does not cost a cent yeah so we have come to the end and end of this video let me stop rambling i'll see you again in another video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe on this video so that you guys can see more of these kinds of videos where i show you the stuff that i've been collecting and yeah see you again in another video bye